I'm going to start off by saying first, I have a cold, so I know I'm going to sound nasally and I'll probably cough and snuffle a lot through this. Um, but you know, you can't stop doing chores and I'm already out here. I did on Facebook, <clears throat> we were talking about, uh, what a Cooney Cooney build, like what Cooney Cooney traits actually look like in IPPs. Um, <coughs> and I was going to do a, uh, just a bunch of pictures to describe that. Um, but honestly, taking pictures is really hard to show some of this. So videos are usually drastically better at showcasing because then you're not getting the wrong angle. The animal's moving the whole time. So you can actually see this. So we're out here in the feeder pen first. I've got just a little bit of daylight left. So I'm going to show you what some of these Cooney Cooney traits look like, uh, both in feeders here. And I've got a couple that show some nicer body build traits. So we'll show those two. So you can kind of get a comparison and then, uh, we'll hop over to, uh, <coughs> payday in his group so that you can see what that looks like too um with some i've got a couple of sow in there with some cooney cooney traits and then some that don't so we'll get to look at those let's flip you around so this big gal she's the big feeder she's gonna stop for us thank you gal so <clears throat> see how that neck just hangs down real flop see that head has that big hump right there where it just all fats over and she is overly fat she's super obese because she eats everybody's stuff but it's also because she's showing a lot of these kind of kind of traits, while everybody else is at a normal, nice body weight, hi, she gets overly fat. And then look at that belly line. See how that just like dangles loose. And you'll get you'll get to better understand that when we look at some other ones. She'll step a bit. She's really confused as to why I'm aiming in on her. She was going to get a drink. But you can see, oh, come on, gal. Yeah, big old tubby. <clears throat> Let's flip up here. Oh, sorry, I know that'll look funny. Um, See how there's no definition, right? That just goes front to back. There is no shoulder pop out, no butt pop out. It is shoulders, belly, butt, right? We don't want that. We want some nice definition. <clears throat> if we can get a better look at how floppy that is. And you can really, she'll let me get in here to where you can see, that's my concern. <clears throat> We can get in here and grab a hold of that. You can see how floppy that is. Just not real tight and connected, okay? Not like... <clears throat> see, this gals here is a little better. See how there is a noticeable turn up towards the back? And it's gonna stand real funny. These... <clears throat> there are five in here that are bigger, two of them being our coal cells. She's got a lot of this Cooney Cooney too, but I didn't want to use her because she's got... <clears throat> She just finished weaning, and so sometimes it's a little harder to see that on these gals that still have a bit of a bag. There we go. Look at that belly and that tuck underneath there. Remember, these are all feeders. Nice tuck belly. See that just that forms a much tighter line. It's not loose. It's not saggy. Okay. <clears throat> what are you doing, weirdo? Okay. So that kind of gives you an idea of what we're really looking here. Seriously, you're a weirdo. Oh, this is my pain in the butt gal. She has dialed down a little bit, <clears throat> which I still don't trust her. Um, but she's also got a lot of that cooney cooney. You just, the one word I describe it as dumpy, right? Like there's just not much definition, lots of flab. On that back end, you can see there's no real ham definition there. <clears throat> but you can see the little barrel right there. Zoom in on him. See how even with him it tucks? Pretty good. Not great on him, not perfect, but still, oh, whoops. Sorry, we were zoomed in and I looked up to look at him in person. See how that tucks up? It's not perfect, but it's more noticeable than the gal next to him. See how that's just dangling back there? We don't want that. <clears throat> and then, hi, here's Cupcake. So you can see with Cupcake, she's also got that Cooney Cooney snout we don't want. Hey, Cupcake, Cupcake, turn and look at me. Nah, maybe not. <clears throat> and it's really hard to tell at this age, right? Because you look at it and you're like, oh, that's a nice IPP snout. I've done this a while. I've seen her mom. I know what that's going to turn into. That is going to be so smashed faced. And if you follow along, you'll get to see her as she's aging and grows out. You'll get to see that that is going to turn into such a smashed face that it's going to, she's going to have trouble breathing like her mom did. Um, that one right there, see how that's flat? It's too pointed to be sure, like that, that narrows down into too pointed of a shape, but you can see how it had a flatter dish, that that was what we wanted. This right there, I can tell that's gonna smash. 
<coughs> she already has trouble breathing when she runs. She sounds like I do right now. <coughs> Anywho. All right. So we've seen some of that and some of these feeders. Okay, let's go look at those sows. All right, we are over here with Payday and his ladies. Now we can see oatmeal here. Right, so let's go ahead and just clarify this back up one more time. When I'm talking about Cooney Cooney traits, okay, I mean four things. I mean lack of belly connection, okay? Poor muscle definition, okay? Overall, that top line being rounded and straight to back, which both of those still line into that poor muscle connection, right? And then super smashed snout. That is four overall things, but they can be noticeable separate from each other. Like I could still have fairly decent muscle definition, but um, <clears throat> but have super smashed snout. I could have somewhat decent muscle definition, but have really poor belly connection. Um, I'm not so much gonna have good muscle definition and still have that uh, straight line down from shoulders to ham with no muscle in cut. That's that barbelling I talk about as a piglet, right? So <clears throat> we look at her, she is a beautiful gal. Now she has just finished weaning not crazy long, or no, she didn't, sorry. <clears throat> she hasn't, it's been a while. But we can still see that that belly is held up pretty nice and tight, even with those floppy teats. <clears throat> She has had several litters, so I do not expect her to ever have that nice tucked underbelly of a, uh, you know, a little feeder. Hi, what's up, Payday? What's up, Payday? Yeah, what'd you want? I'm busy. Here, seriously? Oh, I smell like gilts and sows and heat. Probably not the best call. Go back and eat. Go back and eat. I'm not gonna deal with your horny butt right now. Yet. Payday, go. Thanks for reminding me that I smell like ladies. Get out of here. <clears throat> I don't like coming directly from the feeder gilts pen in with boars, especially since he's just been thrown in there with them within the last month, so he's still got all of that on his mind. Anywho, we can see how that nice muscle definition right there. Okay. Right. <clears throat> and we can look at if I can get over... Nope, I can't get high enough over his shoulders here. Maybe if we zoom this out. And he doesn't have crazy great muscle definition, especially not as he's humped, but we can still see some, right? We can see those hams bulge out a little, not much. That is my one big complaint about him is he doesn't have much of a ham, but there's still fairly decent muscle definition. He is going to develop a boar shield. You can see some there. You can see this little in cut right here. You can see it on her if I can get high enough without him thinking I'm trying to Horn in on his product here. Come on, get out of the way. <clears throat> Oil, move. Here we go, we can do this. She has none. See that straight line? <clears throat> that is what I would consider a bit more of that Cooney build. That just looks like a sausage, right? <clears throat> Fairly dumpy rear. <clears throat> See how this tucks in and out? I can't get high enough, sorry guys. But uh, she has it, that nice muscle definition from the shoulders. You can see a little bit here. Goes out, tucks in, comes back, and then comes back out. Lots of winter hair makes this kind of hard to tell. <clears throat> and I just can't quite get up there to showcase that well enough, sorry. But we can see overall, just looking at her, you can tell that there is nice muscle connection, nice definition. Her snout is not overly short. It is nice, perfectly medium, pokes up. Hey, oatmeal. Want to look up? Nah, that's okay. And now we can tell this gal, Dos, she does have a little bit of the Cooney Cooney trait. We can see with this dumpy rounded right here, excessive wrinkling. <laughs> a little bit excessive wrinkling. <clears throat> oh, I scared her, sorry there and now she really had this so she thinned down she is definitely what i would consider more of a lard breed type like that build that lardy build um because she will slim way down and she will build back up and not like donut does where donut really slims down but she never really builds to fatty dose here was roundish and fatty not as bad as her sisters who are now over in the coal pin but still enough where you could tell it okay 
Her snout is nice. Payday is nice. Honestly, everybody's snouts in here are nice. I don't have anybody's snouts that I'm like, oh, God. Um, and the top of her head connection, if she'll stand up, <clears throat> isn't bad. So while she's got a bit of the dumpier back end, she's got those lines. She doesn't have the head like that one big chunky feeder has that you just see from the top. It just like domes over. Um, and some of that is from obesity, which like I said, that obesity in her is not because I'm overfeeding her. That group is being slightly underfed, if nothing else, but she's still putting on massive amounts of weight. And that's one way you can tell is the less you're feeding and they're still getting fat, not putting on muscle mass, getting fat, shows you they've got a little bit too much of that lard breed, which comes from the Kuni Kuni. So that's, that's another one of the things that, that tells you and makes that body shape, those conditioning looks show off a little bit more. <clears throat> but overall, with where she's slimmed down to right now, I'm not that unhappy with dose. This is where I fed them a little bit ago, so they're still finishing up eating dinner. But there you go. Quick hop in right here, actually. So this is toast. And you can see how he like, he was chuffing a bunch for us. Um, but Toast's mouth is almost always open, okay? Toast, seriously, come back over here, boy. So Toast has that Kuni Kuni snout, uh, which his mom had. Um, his mom is the same mom as Cupcake that I was trying to get there. So like, this is him a little bit older. He's, he's like 19 months old. So you can see that and you can see how it rounds. Everything is just short and, and trunky in the front. Not much of a neck owes up to the head. Some of that is just because he's really beefy, but most of that is Kuni Kuni right there. So he's got a lot of these Kuni Kuni or traits. He has a very muscular build and his belly does roll and tuck up the way it should. So that's why I really like him. Well, liked him. He is he's sterile. He broke his pecker. Um, but beyond that, right, his belly tucks up nice. He has nice muscle definition in the rest of his build, as much as you can see from all these weeds in front of it. He has a nice barbell shape. If I can get over. Uh, yeah, there you go. You can kind of see, right? He's got the nice barbell shape, but that head, his head is solidly Cooney Cooney. Okay, that is going to be too excessive. And he already has trouble breathing. Like when he runs, he gets, gets out of breath so fast. Like, not like, you know, a normal pig. Really, they still can't run that far with the shorter faces without running out of breath. But him is like 20 feet and he's done. Tops. So there you go. We'll hop back oh. over now. I hope that helps. Uh, kind of give you a better idea of what I'm looking at. And what I say when I say Kuni Kuni uh, traits, Kuni Kuni build, is we're looking at that overall conditioning. If they have decentish muscling, uh, like that person's pigs that were posted. Um, if you go in and look at the comments, I'm not going to direct to it. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to continue to call anyone out on blast or anything because I'm not trying to do that here at all. Um, this is just something that I noticed that I have been saying Kuni Kuni traits a lot and I've started to hear other people say it and then someone said it uh, talking about somebody else's pigs that did not have Kuni Kuni traits showcasing. Um, if anything, the snout was a little longer. So doing the opposite of that, and the build was nice. Uh, the body shaping was pretty nice. Like there was nothing that I would be like, from the, and they weren't really, real great pictures, they were screenshot and you had to zoom in, but uh, nothing that I was like, ooh, yeah, ooh. Uh, not like several of those feeders that you saw out there in my own pen. Like those are, those are Cooney Cooney builds. Um, and I've got some little piglets that if you guys, if you watch last Tuesdays, um, I posted one. Uh, if you go to the end and watch the piglets, you can see a couple in there that are like, oh my God, those are little Cooney Cooney piglets. Like. So yeah, you could definitely tell a difference. Um, honestly, yeah, if you go back and look, now that you've watched this, if you haven't watched Tuesday's video from this week, it's last week, because today is actually Sunday. So this this past week, Sunday starts the new week. Um, go back and look at our piglets. Um, and I may point them out this Tuesday when I do our next one, looking at them, you can definitely see the difference between some of those that have a Kuni Kuni build and those that have a more nice lean build. Um, <clears throat> and again, we want in between that, right? We don't want overly lean pigs. And we don't want overly fatty pigs as an IPP. We want that nice middle middle shape. So, all right. I hope that helps clarify that up a little bit. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I will share this to our farm's Facebook, um, and I'll probably share it to the groups just to, because that is where I said I would do the pictures, uh, but I don't really want to do pictures. I want to make this easier to see with videos of them. So, all right. Uh, thank you to our Patreon supporters, Hunter and Ashley Raymond. Uh, thank you to everybody watching this video. And I really hope this helps because that is honestly our entire purpose of this is to help put out some of those, like clarify some of those things that we as IPP breeders are looking for in our stock. So 
Y'all have a great week.